Hello everyone, and I hope everyone's having a good Thanksgiving. This is the long range weather forecast discussion for December 1st to the 13th. December 1st to the 5th, we have nearly a zone of flow here. We're going to start here. We start with this upper low here in trough, trough here over the East Pacific Ridge. And this gradually um, transitions to a zone of flow, almost a zone of flow. As we come to the 5th, and we look at the rest of the models, a good agreement. Now, during this period, we'll have a cold uh, core low that's forked to be over the Southern Great Lakes. Okay, here's the system here. We'll have rain, heavy rain, maybe storms here uh, along the trail and cold front. And we'll have snow, probably heavy snow here occurring back into this region. This is on Saturday. This is uh, Sunday, December 1st. This is the uh, GFS, European Deterministics, and then we'll have like the, the NAM, but it doesn't go out that far. But here's the system developing here. And the front will move through Sunday night, and then we'll have during this period Sunday night. We're going to go here. We have indications of a secondary low developing. You see it right here. The slow weakens, secondary uh, low develops, and there might be snow and freezing rain or sleet over the interior northeast, rain along the coast. And uh, let me see if I can get to GFS. GFS has some snow across uh, the Middle Atlantic, but um, that still has to remain to be seen how this low develops. And um, we we'll have heavy precipitation occurring across Central and Southern California. You can see it here. This is the we'll look at the NAM. Some um, snow in parts of uh, the Rockies. And we'll look at the GFS. You can see here's our low. Heavy rain here, snow, parts of uh, the Sierras and um, parts of the Great Basin. And that'll be in the higher elevations of snows will occur. And locally heavy rain will be across Southern California, the Southwest Tuesday night into Wednesday. Here's a low and a Wednesday. Okay, otherwise, now we're going to look at the period for December 4th to the 8th. And the East Pacific trough slides inland. We still have this upper low or trough here in the east. Heights build in the plains due to this ridge over Mexico. And that's how the pattern is going to look like during this period. Miles, pretty good in agreement. This is the uh, NAEF, NAEFS, a little more amplified, deeper with the trough. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting below normal temperatures here and here, and I'm forecasting anomalies to be about four to six degrees below normal, above normal temperatures forecast for this region here, and the probability, uh, the forecast anomalies are four to six degrees above normal are forecast. For precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation here, and for along the East Coast, Southeast, Middle Atlantic, and the Northeast, probability of occurrence is 35 to 45 percent. And then we have below normal precipitation here, probability of occurrence 40 percent. Looking for the period for December 9th to 13th. And the flow is a little more gradually becomes more amplified here. And I'll take it back to see what happens. We can see this upper low here sliding southeast from northwest Canada and it it dies whoop. Let me see if I can get back to show you that. Okay, here it is. And then it sits over the north central states with a trough. And then it eventually spreads eastward. And then we'll have a ridge building here on, on the west, trough here. So um, this is, I think, how the pattern's going to look like. So for this forecast period, 
forecasting below normal temperatures here and for the northern middle Atlantic and the northeast and forecast anomalies of 4 to 6 degrees below normal are forecast and for here forecasting above normal temperatures for the southern plains with anomalies uh, 2 to 4 degrees above normal precipitation this period will be above normal here for this region and along the east coast probability of occurrence is 40 percent that's the long range weather forecast discussion for december 1st at 13th thanks for coming to jim Mullins world of weather and have a good day and happy thanksgiving